All right, welcome back, guys. So we made it out here to San. It's cut. <laughs> and as soon as I anchored here, I had uh, some fellow subscribers asking if I had a day off today. <laughs> it's never a day off when you have a camera, right? Welcome guys to the Miami Pro channel. We are uh, heading out. This is the 4th of July weekend. Uh, as you guys can see, the water is perfect. Um, the weather channel said there was gonna be uh, cloudy, it's gonna be cloudy, possibly uh, scattered showers. But by the looks of it, in this area where we're at right now, it looks perfect. Um, and we are actually uh, heading out to Elia Key. We haven't been alone to Elia Key in a very long time. Uh, so we're planning actually probably exploring some areas of Elia Key and uh, probably ending up at um, Sands Cut, Sands Cut Sandbar. So uh, stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna show you some stuff. I hope you guys enjoy the music I'm about to play. All right, guys. All right, guys, so we made it here to Elia King, uh, and it's super, super low tide. As you guys saw when we were heading out of that, of that channel, all the rocks were uh, sticking out. Um, and where we are at right now, it's literally right now, like about three feet. And we're not gonna go over to the little area where we've gone to last time, because on a normal day, it's usually up to two feet over there. So I, I could only imagine if we're getting any closer, it's gonna be less than two feet. Uh, I just wanted to show you how the weather is over here. Over in Miami, in the Homestead area, it is pouring. It looks ugly. <laughs> this is the Miami area over there. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see in this uh, camera the the mountain, the, the what do you call it? Call it? The dumpster, whatever it's called. Uh, and then that over there is like the Homestead area. That could be heading also to the Keys. Tricky point, I guess. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna keep on our going. We're gonna try to see if we head to a new little spot that we've never been to, um, and see how it is. Uh, Elliot Key has. Hopefully there's no biting yeah, hopefully there's no biting midgets. <laughs> and that is what we want to determine. So that way, when we come back again, and we bring the boys, we don't have to go through that mission that we went through uh, the last time. All right, guys. Stay tuned. then I am going to get down and away from my boat <laughs> so that way you guys don't hear the background music and I don't get copyright <laughs> but we made it here to a nice little spot uh, the convenient part about uh, it being low tide is that you can actually now see from far away you actually see sand so we saw the spot 
that we've been here before, but I uh, I forgot last time when I was here, I didn't, I didn't, you know, mark it down on my GPS, and now I did. Um, this is that little secret, uh, little beach area that we came to one time, and we recorded a video here. And uh, like I said, check it out. When low tide is in, you can actually see the sand. And check out my boat right there. And yes, this is what Tahoe boats are good for. When the water is like this, perfect conditions for it, you could actually go up to two feet of water uh, with no problem. And that is one of the benefits of having a Tahoe. Um, although the ride, whenever it's choppy, is pretty rough. But, you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna start walking over here to show you guys how this is. Check it out. <laughs> Nicole's over there, not dancing. So, this is the spot where we uh, will be bringing our kids to uh, come and hang out. We were checking out some other spot over there that we found, but it was too too muggy, too grassy at the bottom. Um, the, gra the, the grass here is actually uh, not that bad. The floor is actually pretty solid. It's not mushy, like that mushy sand. For those of you who have been uh, out in, the, in these areas, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, check it out. Check out the boat. And back there, by the way, back there, behind my boat, you see all those other boats? That is sand cut sandbar. That's a sandbar area over there. Just to kind of give you uh, uh, an idea more or less where this, where this area is at. It's uh, a bit, I'll say what, this will be a bit south of, of, the, of that sandbar. Yeah, check it out, guys. Yeah, it looks good, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think this, oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, this, this spot right here is really nice for the kids. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. With the exception of all those rocks, when high tide comes in, obviously, you know, we won't be hanging out over there. We'll be hanging out in this area over there. But right here, this is actually pretty clear right here. All this area here. So, so this entire area is actually pretty good. You know what? I, I want to show you guys something. I don't. I, I don't know what this is, but I, I gotta show you. I gotta show you what this is. Kinder looking little things on the water. I have no idea what that is. My wife is telling me that they are uh, little crab, little crab hideouts or something, or little fishes. I don't even know what it is. It probably, it probably is. It probably is. It's probably little crabs. They hide on there. Uh, you guys probably can see. But yeah, so yeah, let's just so check it out. So this is low tide. So once high tide kicks in, um, the water level will be all the way up there. And the kids will have all this clean, this, clean sand in this area. You see? Check this out. It's actually pretty decent. It's not that bad. Look, high tide comes up here, right? You you have all this area here where the kids kids could actually play. And then can have a boat over there. Okay. What, a fish? Mm -hmm. What, by your feet? Yeah, but I don't know where it's going Okay, where, where is it? Uh, wait, hold on, you're scared away? Oh, I see it, it's like a little, it's a puffer fish. Uh -huh. Is that a puff, puffer fish? Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> there, there it goes. It just dipped it out. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to continue on our 4th of July weekend adventure to uh, figure out what other spots uh, we could uh, come and hang out. We discovered this spot once before. I forgot to uh, put it down on my navigation. And uh, now I know. Now I put it again. I want to put it on my navigation now. So that way we know how to get here. It's 
found a tree. Like you've never seen a tree before. <laughs> well, yeah, if we bring a domino table, so we can put the domino table here. The, the good thing about this spot right now is that so far I don't feel no mosquitoes biting us or no. Uh, I think the moment you said that, I was talking. No uh, <laughs> biting midgets. <laughs> so I think that we are safe to say that um, this is a pretty decent spot to come. Right? Yes, sir. All right, guys. Stay tuned for more. So, walking along the sandy area here, found someone's uh, trash they left out here in the little time when they were out here having a good time. Guys, don't do this. Pick up, a, pick up after yourself. It's not cool. All right. Nah, I still like the other spot better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we spoke too soon. <laughs> we're still getting attacked now by a mosquito. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. I like the other spot better. This spot has these hard, these hard rocks. Yeah, on high tide, this is not a fun spot to be walking around. Cause, uh, oh, this is not even sand, it's like, it's like coral rock. And she's walking over there. And I am gonna walk back this way. So then I could get on the, on the boat. So by the looks of it, these clouds are starting to show up here. It's starting to get closer. So we want to head back to the boat and go to the sandbar area over there to anchor up and uh, spend the rest of our day over there. Yeah, there's starting, starting to come out these little mosquitoes. Alright guys, by the way, like I said, guys, don't pollute, bro. Pick up after yourself when you come out here. Alright guys. <laughs> Woo! What you think? What you think? What you think about the spot? Huh? What you think about the spot? I like it for the boys. Like it? All right. All right. All right. <laughs> exactly over there. There you go, guys. That sand's cut right there. And uh, on this uh, Fourth of July holiday, um, there's not a lot of boats, so hopefully. Um, it's only because of the fact that it's early. Well, I really don't care. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's actually pretty pretty cool that uh, we could find a good spot because not a, a lot of boats out here right now. But this is Sands Cut, guys. Welcome back guys, so we made it out here to sand, it's cut. <laughs> and as soon as I anchored here, I had uh, some fellow subscribers asking if I had a day off today. <laughs> it's never a day off when you have a camera, right? So what's going on guys? You guys like the spot, huh? Sand's cut? It's always nice, bro. Always nice, always nice. No, no, and, and especially today, it's not that packed, because sometimes this gets crazy packed. No, uh, over the weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, it's awesome. You guys would have fun at the oh. marina, but not Oh, no, no, forget that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to keep recording some some more stuff, show you guys what's going on out here. Uh, so, yeah, look, we have people on little paddle boats. And it's nice, it's a nice day out here. Even though in Miami, it said Miami weather was going to be raining, it's going to be cloudy. Out here, guys, in the water, completely different story, as you guys can see. All right, guys, stay tuned for more. Oh, no, no. 
a shot or a drink. <laughs> Alright, thanks, bro. So I made it out back here to uh, the marina to a dock area and uh, it's not bad it's actually pretty good we are gonna go ahead and try to dock our boat here there's not uh, any boats actually in front of us so we're gonna decide which dock we're gonna go into and uh, I'll show you how it's done so check it out right here on the right Mm-hmm. 
Soon as she has the front, I'll take care of the back. Engines are ready, just a neutral, making sure that the boat doesn't uh, swing away in case there is current. And uh, yeah, guys, this is the way you basically come back to your ducks. Nice and slow. Pay attention to the winds. Pay attention to the current. And this is how you do it. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching the Mammy Bro channel. Catch me on the, on the next channel, on the next, uh, not channel, <laughs> catch me on the next uh, video. I'm here, I'm here trying to make sure I don't fall off the boat. <laughs> Alright guys, man, I appreciate you. I would see you in the next video. Next channel, next channel. That's the next channel. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.